Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Maya tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to create a quick script to uh, zero out controllers automatically, um, very simply here in Maya. Now I'm using uh, MetaHuman here, this will work on any animation rig as long as it's being controlled by NURBS, uh, which is the standard, so it should be. If you are using an auto rig rig, like I'm using here, this will actually translate across to any auto rig um, oh, sorry, uh, advanced skeleton rather that is using the same naming convention. So if you have two different rigs sharing the same, um, two different characters sharing the same rigs naming conventions, uh, then this will work for each of those characters. Otherwise you would have to create one for each character, but it's very simple to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it here. So I want to get all of this um, zeroed out. And first things first, I have moved the face rig out of the way. Um, you can do that just by selecting the face GUI uh, follows head. If you select that to zero, you can then move it manually if you wish, like so. Uh, or you could just manually move it out of the way. Um, because I've got wire up at the moment, it's actually going to move it there, which is its zero position in this case. So uh, we have got our character, they're in a silly pose, and we want to zero out all the controllers with the click of a button. So the first thing I want to do is create a new shelf for these controllers, and this is going to be done by going up here and clicking this cog icon, go to new shelf, and we're going to type in anim controls, um, and this needs to have no spaces or special characters, as per all naming conventions should be in Maya. Next, we need to bring up the script editor, which is this button down here. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows, uh, General Editors, and Script Editor. And what the script editor is, if you've ever had any errors, you may have looked through this before. It is a just log of everything that has happened up to this point in your Maya session. Uh, this is just basically what we're going to use to create the script. It's very simple. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. So first thing we need to do is we need to clear everything that we've got here. So let's click this button right here and that will clear it all. Don't worry about clearing it, it's not going to delete anything, it's just going to clear the log. The log is not your history or anything like that. Next thing, we need to make sure we've deselected. So we can just click on the background here and you can see that it's brought up select-cl and that just means it's clearing the selection. Uh, next, we'll just mark you select everything in the rig. Make sure that you have got your geometry set to reference. You don't want to be zeroing out your geometry. That will obviously break your rig. And then finally, we'll go across here and we'll select all of these and we will hit zero. And that will zero out everything you see there and that is everything there. And finally, we can click here and that will clear it. So it's going to do exactly what I just did. Clear the selection, reselect everything in the rig, set everything to zero, and then clear the selection. Uh, it may be a good idea to turn auto keying off if you've got it on, um, because you don't want to accidentally be keying things by doing this, um, unless that is your intention. If you do want to um, key things when you do this, put auto keying to on. Alternatively, you could hit S when you, as part of this process. Um, however, that will also key your scale values as well. All right, so we can just grab everything here. So it's gonna control A to select it, control C to copy it and control V down here. We want these two tabs. We want the mail tab. We're not gonna do this in Python. And that is everything there. So starting with the clear, uh, selecting everything and then setting all the values. So we will now go to file saved script and we need to save it somewhere. I'm just going to save it on my desktop for this example, but I would probably recommend saving it in your project directory. Call it zero all. No spaces. Save that. And now we can save the script to the shelf and this is going to be called zero all. Give it a nice clear name um, so you can tell the difference between it and any other version of a thing that you might do. So we'll click OK. And now we've got the script here. So if I move a few different things again, and then I click the zero all button, it zeroes it all again. Uh, so very handy. Next, we're going to create a zeroing controller just for the face. And um, this is basically the same situation again. However, um, I would make one slight alteration. And we're just going to select everything. And I'm going to deselect these yellow 
uh, tabs here because uh, we don't really want those. Uh, we probably don't want to zero out the face GUI and I look constraint in this case and these switches here um, either. So pretty much just that. And then we are going to deselect the mouth controller and we will reselect it. And that's going to give us translate X and Y um, available there. So then we'll select everything there, hit zero, hit it in, and we'll clear. Cool, great. Um, except one thing, I forgot to clear everything uh, at the start. So I'm going to copy this in first, paste it in there, so that's my first thing, and then everything else comes after it. And then at the very end, I need to make sure I actually have that again, because we don't want to have things selected, it's just nice and tidy. Cool, do the same thing, file, and we'll save script to shelf, and zero face, that's what this one's called. Now I did previously save out the script as a um, Maya file, as a Maya file um, and that's useful if you want to share the script to someone else. Um, okay, so we'll test it, we'll just um, put some, you know, animation in, and then we'll deselect and we'll zero the face zeros it out nicely. So I find that for the face that's actually a pretty useful one um, when you're doing lip sync. You could isolate specific areas if you just wanted to zero mouth, zero eyes, um, it can be quite useful. So now that you've got these scripts here as well we can make some adjustments here in the shelf editor. So we'll go to shelf editor and we've got anim controls here on the left and those are our scripts that we've currently got. Uh, we can actually change the icon as well so we can just find a PNG if I've got one somewhere and that works fine. So that might make it easier for you to identify. If for some reason you did want to make any further edits to any of these, you can go into the command itself and have a look through. Um, if you've got something during the process, it might make it a bit quicker. But in this case, I'm happy with what I've got. And finally, you'll see I've deleted my original script from the shelf here, and this is so I can load the one that I created at the start and this is useful if you're downloading ones from the internet or if you're sharing them amongst other members of your team. So we can just go to where I had it which is on the desktop there. I'm just going to drag it literally into the viewport. You can see zero all. Drag it in there and it executes the script and it will uh, be in here like that. Now that may be what you want if you just want to execute it once. You could also load the script. File open script like so, and it'll open it like so, uh, in the exact order that you want, and then that way you can just save the script to the shelf again, and I can just call that zero, all, and there we go. So that's not been executed, we can just use the shelf button that I've just created, and set it back to zero again. So hopefully this is a handy uh, tutorial for anyone out there doing some animation, um, particularly in the meta -human, human rigs, because they've got quite a lot to them. So um, if you did like it, make sure you check a like on the video. And as always, thanks to our patrons, uh, keeping the lights on. If you'd like to become a patron, um, you can do so for $5 a month and you will get the scripts that I've created in this video along with all the other things that we've made previously throughout the years. Uh, so check that out, patreon.com slash smallrobotstudio. Thank to all our current patrons for being legends and thank you for watching. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.